Ruth Binary Office. We are together today with the nice folks at Ancora Software. Hello, Bernard. Hello, John. How are you? <laughs> I am good. Well, as a quick introduction, Binary Office is a paper process automation company. We help our, our customers across the U.S. Uh, either completely get rid of paperwork in their office or, uh, if that's not possible, at least automate it and speed the paper process up. Today we're here to show you quickly a fantastic product for specifically accomplishing one paper problem, and that is how to automate OCR and scanning of paper invoices. And Binary Office, as a company, we, we have lots of products in, in our tool belt, so to speak, uh, to help automate paper processes of all different kinds. Uh, but when it comes to scanning and OCRing paper invoices, uh, we really like the Ancora Docs product from Ancora Software and you'll see why in a minute. It's very simple to use, very automated, and uh, very easy for accounts payable folks to, to use. So I have Bernard with me from Ancora Software, and I'm going to let him drive. So I'm going to change presenters, Bernard, and let you yes. take over from here. Thank you, John. You're welcome. OK. Hello, everybody. I'm Bernard Morer from uh, Ancora Software. Uh, I'm the director of professional services. And I'm going to give you a, good, a quick demo of the system. So uh, basically, I'm going to bring up the uh, the normal uh, screen, welcome screen uh, of the uh, uh, invoice uh, approved invoice processing system. Right off the bat, I'm just going to turn about talk about welcome for the product. This product is right off of the box, uh, right of the box, and it only has, as you can see, only a general template that comes with the product. This template is just basically a white page with uh, yellow boxes in here. The yellow boxes correspond to different fields, like a vendor, num vendor name, purchase order invoice number, and so forth, that the system is going to try to figure out an invoice that is never seen before. So there is a lot of algorithm, a lot of geometry, a lot of calculation, proprietary algorithm going on behind the scenes that's going to allow us to on the fly, recognize an invoice that the system has never seen. So let's start off the bat. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to not say anything, pretty much. I'm just going to process those three invoices. And these are run-on-the-mill invoices that you find fine in the in a, in a, in a business. They are not too simple. They are not too complicated. Uh, but they are just the normal invoice that you will get from any vendor. So let's go ahead and introduce all the invoice to the system. And then we go back behind the scene and show you what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and add the pages, like I would scan those pages. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and pick up the uh, a few, a couple of invoices here, three of them. I'm going to introduce them into the system. Here they are. Here is invoice number three, number two, number one. So I'm going to say those are uh, single document invoices, and I'm going ahead and queue them into the system. And I'm going to process them, you know. And this is uh, John here. This is actually one of the one of the neat things about Ancora Docs, and what has really amazed us here at Binary Office. We've been in the in the business a long time and, and work with lots of different products, but right out of the box, 
and Cora Docs with just the 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 magic, if you will, that that uh, and Cora Software has put into what they call their general template. And uh, the amazing thing that is that it it does allow you to process invoices that it's never seen before. So and it looks like we're ready there. It looks like Bernard. Yes. Ready? So I'm standing at the verify station now. Thank you, John. And I have a blue a button that says, uh, you know, I have a job waiting for me. So as operator, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the invoice. And I'm just going to quickly process those invoices for you. I'm done. So this is quickly how quickly I can process invoices into our system that the system has never seen before. You see it only took me a few seconds to process them and a few strokes of the keys I have everything ready and balanced and ready to export. Now let's take a pause for a second here and go back behind the magic and see what happened. Remember when we had a, just a general template to start with? Now look, the system has magically created on the fly without any intervention from my end, custom templates for those are three invoices for vendors he has never seen before. So here are those templates here. Okay? So the beauty of it is that if I go ahead and reprocess a similar invoice, the, the system is going to automatically going to recognize everything within that invoice without intervention from my part, including the vendor name. See, the vendor name is already selected out. The way we do it is because we purposely, we found by experience that we purposely don't try with the OCR, the multiple OCR engines that we have, you know, and the voting mechanism. We purposely don't try to recognize vendor invoice because, as you can see, a lot of those vendors, you know, have sophisticated graphics, you know, uh, making it tough for any any OCR engine to try to recognize it. It just so happened that there is nicely a, a name next to it that we can recognize. So let's go ahead and thank you, Amanjo. Let's go ahead and process another invoice here, and I'm going to take a different invoice. And I'm going to go ahead and process the Mason invoice again. This is a vendor, a different invoice from the same vendor. And I'm going to show you the power of the system. Now, when I'm going to queue this, uh, this invoice into the system, the system is going to, you know, is going to uh, process those, uh, that invoice. And instead of matching that invoice for the general template like it did before, you see, those first invoices were matched with the general templates because those are invoices that the system has never seen before. All of a sudden, you see that they match with template, and there is a specific name for the template, which is a template that actually was created for the Mesa invoice. So let's see what the system has done now. Once again, the blue light lights up for the operator to see that there is job waiting for him to go. And you see by magic, all of a sudden, you know, I no longer have to click to the vendor name the vendor name is automatically recognized. So all you have to do is push a key that tells the system, show me if there is any problem with that invoice. The system says, no, nope, there is no problem. Everything is in balance. So I can save that invoice. So let's go back into typing here and give you also a little overview of the system. I'm going to turn all the fields here. So, all right, here it is. Let's go back to line number one here. Let's pretend I'm going to show you some of the graphical tools that are available with the system that allows you to balance an invoice in case, by any chance, there was some kind of a problem at the OCR step. So let's pretend here, for example, that, uh, you know, uh, this line here was we're going to introduce a, a problem here. Let's pretend that this is, uh, instead of the three, obviously it never happens, but let's pretend there is a nine here. When I push a function key, the function key F4, that tells the system to proceed, the system automatically stops and tells me 
you see that two tip that lines up, it says, whoops, wait a second, you cannot proceed, there is a problem with this line. The system will automatically balance the item line and say, do the math for you and say item quantity time the uh, item price and the uh, invoice amount, the item amount. Now you have two choices here. I can either look at the red mark here, the red line, which is where the system actually OCR that amount and figure out, whoop, wait a second, I can see the problem here. This is a, a three as opposed to being an I. So I can correct it on the fly, put a nine. Now when I push the key that says, is everything in balance? The system says yes, I'm ready to save and proceed with the workflow. Everything is in balance. No. Now let's go ahead and introduce a, system, a, a, a problem with the system. Let's pretend the OCR completely skipped the line in an invoice. So we're going to introduce a mistake once again. And we're going to say that invoice actually uh, is like this. So the operator doesn't know any better and it doesn't need to know any better actually. Trust the system and say, all right, let's go ahead and proceed. Whoops, a different hit. Error message shows up as you can see. The message says press F6 to balance it because my amount is not in balance. So we're going to go ahead and follow the system instructions here. We're going to go ahead and bring up the balancing screen. The balancing screen shows that actually uh, the first line was recognized successfully. You see the, the, the yellow box. The second one actually is missing. There is no yellow box. There is no recognition on this one. We say, ah, that's what happened. There is a line missing on the thing. So we're going to add a line here and point to the description. So we're going to click. The power of the OCR is that you don't have to rubber band or you don't have to rope the entire string of characters. All you need to do is click anywhere within the character uh, for the ship and the, uh, the quantity. The ship quantity is one. The price is $6.39 and the amount is zero. Now see, as soon as I click on this, the difference went to zero. So we know that everything is in balance now. So we can close that balancing screen. We can push the function key F4 and say go ahead and proceed and show me where there is a problem. There is no more problem. The invoice can be saved now and processed successfully. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go back. That's, Bernard, that's in, in my opinion, that's a great uh, another great feature that you guys have included in, in the Ancora Docs product with, with no additional charge, uh, just a, a nice functionality included in, in our opinion, yeah. right. uh, really makes Ancora Docs stand out as an invoice scanning product because now we've, we've already solved, you know, two, really two of two of the three problems in my opinion of of processing paper invoices manually first we've we've OCR'd and and eliminated the data entry and secondly now we've we've caught uh, errors and you've included this nice uh, uh, correction screen built into the product to to automatically alert the operator to to, to catch balancing errors so that that's in our opinion that's really nice oh, thank you John yeah it's very very powerful and very uh, the user love it basically now if you go back underneath the scene under the hood here you can still we still have our journal template and we still only show three uh, basically three templates here three custom templates because the second the fourth invoice I introduced was for WD Mason and when I introduced the fourth invoice to the system, the system already know, they looked at the, all the templates available and say, wait a second, there is already a template available for Mason. So I'm not going to create a different one. I'm just going to use the, the same one. And there is an algorithm built behind the scene here at OCR time that says you know, there is a little shift, a little skewing that happened in the invoice, a little bit of difference. It doesn't matter. The, invoice, the system is still going to be able to process it without having to create a new, invoice, a new template. But the beauty of it, as you see, John, is that uh, there is no manual intervention as far as templates are concerned. The system automatically manages those templates and creates those templates. Mm -hmm. now, in the production right. environment, go ahead, John. Sorry. Uh, well, that I was going to say that that's one thing we also look for in, in recommending systems for for our customers is what is the ongoing effort in. in 
in the AP department for the staff there to maintain uh, the system so that it can recognize new invoices from new vendors uh, that it's never seen before. And in, in, again, in our opinion, you guys have really hit it out of the ballpark with, with your product uh, in that it's, it starts initially with the general template and can recognize anything. Uh, it requires the operator just to, the first time around, to identify uh, the vendor name. And then, as you just showed, the second time around when it sees that same type of invoice, it just uses the, the template that the system set up automatically. And that's, that's a phenomenal advancement in, in invoice OCR and scanning uh, technology in keeping it simple for the user, in, in our opinion. Thank you, John. Yes, definitely. Now, uh, just a quick note as far as the, the setup is concerned. Obviously, since I am a system administrator, John, I show all those stations here, all those tabs down below. In a production environment, in a network environment, you know, the capture will be uh, just a capture tab. That's all it will be. In the OCR, will be most likely an OCR computer set up somewhere unattended. The export will be an, an export computer, unattended with a function. Verify will be manned by an operator, obviously, to process it. The queues is actually control, you know, see those two are waiting to be exported right now, being controlled by an administrator. There is also a nice feature on the system, John, that we touch base about is the fact that, you know, you can uh, display, you know, on the fly some canned reports. And here is one that uh, since the beginning of today, for today's date, I'm telling the system, go ahead and show me all the characters that were presented to the system, all of them that were recognized successfully, all of them that I purposely create errors with, and you can see the tally here. There is purposely some 18 mistakes, you know, that were introduced into the system, you know, voluntarily to see the power of the system as far as balancing other invoices. Now, another tab that I want to introduce to you also that uh, John mentioned too is the fact that we have you can create users, you know, into the system. Like for example, we can introduce the system John, and we can say John is actually only a, only does verify. So when John signs up to the system, it's not going to see any other tab down below, but just a verify tab. That's all. That's all it's going to be able to do. There is also the concept of group or department that you can assign various uh, privileged permissions to. Keep in mind that the group permissions overrides the, uh, the individual permissions as far as the system is concerned. And so when you create a group, after you create a group, obviously, when you create a user like John, for example, you can say John actually belongs to a certain department, belongs to the payables department, belongs to the receivable department, belongs to the shipping department, whatever, and by which that uh, John is automatically going to have carry over the permission given to him by the group that is assigned to. Okay. Okay. John, you want to pause the recording? Sure. Thank you. All right. Well, Thanks, Bernard. That is a, a nice feature, I think, for an administrative person to check the throughput, not, not just from, uh, from a character standpoint like we're looking at right now where we're basically sh seeing the, uh, the bar chart there with all characters read for today in the light blue compared to the dark blue, those characters that were recognized, and then the the green bar showing the characters that were in errors. So that's a great way to, to check the accuracy of the system. Uh, but uh, we can also check the throughput of users. Correct? If we switch the yes. display to users. That is correct. Yes. Here we go. And refresh. So if the, I had the, more users yeah. defined, like a John was defined as user, I can pick that user. And the intent of this. Uh, can reporting system is to show you exactly where the bottleneck are, are into the system. You know, there is a bottleneck at the OCR level, OCR job, you know, is there a bottleneck at the scan job, at the verify step, you know, 
one of those. Okay. So for again, for the verified job, there is five jobs that were verified successfully. OCR, once again, by user seven. You know. Uh, anyway. So you can also identify how many fields were actually, uh, you know, present to the system. Two hundred and sixty-nine so far today. Two hundred and twenty-one. I recognize, you know, there is nine errors, but uh, most of them I introduced myself, obviously, during the demo. The field that was uh, completely filled and some of them that are empty fields. So you can have some nice, uh, you know, can to report out of, the, out of the box that can give you a nice overview of the system. Right. That's, that's uh, a nice reporting feature included in the system again no no additional charge for that functionality which uh, we always like uh, a good deal for for our users so I, I think that's uh, enough to leave everybody with for a, a brief introduction of the Ancora docs software for OCRing and and scanning invoices so just to recap what uh, what you've shown us today uh, the Ancora Doc software starts with without seeing uh, ever seeing an invoice before, and it recognizes that invoice with what you call your general template, where you've you've done uh, some uh, some additional work and all of your research in in variations of invoices and and built that general template to allow an operator to take a a first look at an invoice that's never been seen before and capture it with just a simple click on the vendor name and then the second time it it sees an invoice from that particular vendor matching that uh, it will actually use a template that the system automatically creates for you and in my opinion that's the magic of Ancora Docs and, and the beauty for uh, for an AP department that wants to start automating the OCRing and reading of paper invoices in in that now they have a very simple easy to use product where you don't have to invest a lot of time and a lot of money in initially setting up the software to recognize the, the types of invoices that they're getting and on an ongoing basis you don't have to do really any any work because the system is uh, is recognizing and setting up the templates automatically for you is that a fair summary yes definitely John you've done a great job very nice job yes exactly. okay yes. well great well thanks everybody for joining us we'll sign off for now uh, watch us for additional videos coming uh, where we'll take a look at uh, multi-page invoices and also the uh, approval routing functionality that's built in with Ancora Docs. And with that, we'll sign off and bye for now. Okay. Thanks, Bernard. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, John.